Hey Sonny here. Uh, first time I'm doing a video face to face and uh, the reason why I'm doing this is that uh, I just went over 1 million views on my channel and I just want to do a video to thank you all uh, all of you who came to my uh, channel and to uh, check out my lessons and um, and I appreciate your comments on a lot of positive comments and uh, I really appreciate that and uh, I'm just thankful to um, um, to have you guys to, uh, to, to watch my videos you know one million view is not a whole lot compared to some of those bigger channels with you know uh, 10 15 million views uh, or you know, 40,000 subscribers I, I don't have those uh, which is fine because you know my videos are usually very specific uh, catered to a very specific audience they're all guitar players who like a certain type of music and um, so with you coming back to watch my videos it really means a lot to me and, uh, and it is a blessing to me so I just want to uh, thank you especially for uh, those of you uh, who watch my videos always comment on it especially Mark and Mark there's two Marks but the uh, Especially the Marts, uh, uh, Brian, Sam, and Mike, and I just want to thank you for you guys commenting so much, and I uh, appreciate your support uh, from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so let's talk. About, uh, let's kind of talk about myself a little bit here. So um, I live in St. Louis, Midwest in USA. Uh, we have four seasons here. It's a very nice city. It's not an expensive city to live, but we also have the uh, a small town quality. Also have some big city attractions you know uh, one of the thing we have is St. Louis Zoo which is the uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned is the best free attraction in the entire nation uh, we have the Cardinals baseball you know the Rams left who cares about the Rams you know uh, forget about NFL uh, they just uh, makes me so mad about St. Louis Rams now left and back to LA uh, but we have also the Blues, uh, St. Louis Blues Hockey, uh, which is another one of my favorite. Uh, it's a big sports town here. Uh, it's, all, it's a pretty big music scene as well. Uh, there's a lot of original bands here. Uh, uh, Divan Sorrow is one of my favorite bands uh, in, in St. Louis. Uh, great original materials. Um, so it is a great city to live in. And we have four seasons, like I say. The only thing is that we do have um, some really hot weather in the summertime and the very very cold days in winter but you know I prefer to have a different seasons uh, to enjoy well one of the questions I get asked a lot is uh, about my setup uh, so my setup is very simple I I'm not a professional and uh, my uh, uh, my knowledge of setup is very limited so the only thing I use is what you uh, is a webcam is, uh, uh, is what I use right now is a larger tech webcam and uh, my setup is usually just plugged directly into my Marshall in the back uh, so what you hear is that my Marshall 100 watt valve state head uh, through my 4x12 Laney uh, cabinet uh, one, th one great thing about valve state head is that you can turn it down in low volume uh, um, you still get a great Marshall sound to it Marshall is always it just sounds Marshall so that's all I use is uh, is the mic on the webcam records directly uh, exactly what I'm playing out of the amp in the back so uh, that's all my setup and I don't use any effects I use a little bit of reverb uh, and my distortion overdrive gain is about 8 um, I use a lot of mid in my sound too there's a lot of mid on the equalizer uh, so yeah so that's I, I really believe in using mid to really create your tone to uh, you may sound you, you may think it sounds a little bit loose and not very metal but actually uh, when you play it loud when you add mid to it it gives a volumes to your tone where you can actually hear the stuff better uh, so uh, having mid uh, is very important okay another question I get is that uh, how come I don't show my face uh, in the videos uh, well, because I just uh, I think that if you check out my videos, you don't want to look at my face or see or listen to me or watching my face expression. Uh, I really don't like, I don't like to look at myself anyway. But the most important thing is that for you to see what my hands are doing 
to do close up and uh, and just check out exactly what I'm doing for the songs and, uh, and the focus is always on the songs when I do videos um, so uh, but I know sometimes people are more interested to see the persons they're talking to so I think a videos like this every once in a while is good that you can see me talking to you face to face so as far as my uh, teaching method is concerned uh, um, hopefully that I think that I'm a, a little different than a lot of teachers on, on, on the uh, uh, on YouTube uh, I'm not a great guitar player um, so so I'm very humble there's a lot of great a lot of players who are better than I am on YouTube Hun thousands of them so I'm not a great player uh, but I like to share my knowledge and when I do share I do have extensive knowledge on music theory uh, so uh, when I try to show something um, and also I, I have the ability to really slow down on a song so I think that regardless you're a beginner, intermediate uh, everyone can learn the songs that I'm teaching if you slow down and work your section one at a time anybody can learn those songs um, so don't give up I believe in yourself and uh, listen to a, a hard song you think you, can, you can't play it just play it in a slow speed and gradually increase your speed until you get it so uh, uh, so just a lot of hard work but I think that everyone can learn the songs every song that I teach uh, you, might, you might not be able to play at the speed uh, or very ex or like 100% clean but at least you can play the song so uh, that shouldn't be a problem so just work hard at it and uh, um, so that's my teaching method is to uh, to show that and also that when I slow things down I also explain uh, in the context of music theory how things work together I don't do it very often but I try to do that when I can so hopefully that helps um, uh, to put things in perspective a lot of times I think that learning things and learning the notes is great uh, but to understand why you're doing what you're doing or the key you're playing in uh, is, really, is important as well another thing I like to do is I like to do songs that are not very popular but well mainly I want to focus on songs that are uh, guitar oriented and songs that have a lot of cool riffs very intelligent very creative riffs Judas Priest White Lion those two bands docking are good examples of having really cool riffs uh, in songs uh, so it's not so much focus on solo and I believe I truly believe in learning the song and the chords um, to to help you to become uh, a better guitar player and to be a, to be a songwriter too right if you understand the structure of the song how the chords put together uh, when you listen to how the chords uh, uh, combine um, uh, and chain together that way you can develop a better sense of how to solo over certain chords so uh, that's why I do a lot of riffs and rhythms I think it's more fun uh, learning solos are great but I think learning the songs and the riffs are more fun and, uh, uh, and it's just uh, it's better for development and what's the point of playing something if you can't play a song so you know learning the chords and uh, riffs, you know, is the backbone of songs. And you want to play songs and not just guitar solos. And I'm not a great guitar soloist. There's so many great guitar soloists, soloists on YouTube that I do better job on teaching guitar solos than I do. But I do try. If I find a solo that I like, and I'll do them. Okay, another question I get a lot is that how I figured out songs. Um, Several things that I do, I you know, I do look at tabs on ultimateguitar.com and uh, books and study them. Uh, sometimes you can't find tabs. Sometimes the tabs are completely wrong. Uh, but regardless, tabs will give you an idea uh, how the songs are, how the songs should be, even though that they may be wrong. That's a good starting point. So I always look at like two, three different tabs. If there are different versions of tab, I look at it to see what the difference is. And the next thing I do is that I look at, uh, I watch the artist videos, live videos. Thank, just thank you for YouTube that you are able to, that we are able to see all these videos of uh, musicians that we like and um, up close. 
and uh, we can watch their hands, especially guitar players. You can play the same note, but it sounds different and it plays differently. For example, you can play the A note on the fifth fret on low E string, or you can play the open A string. Completely different sound uh, and a completely different way to play. So watching the otters where the hand is located on the neck uh, would give me clues to exactly how he plays that song uh, and how to learn that song accurately from learning perspective. Um, another thing that I do is I use uh, a software that will slow down the songs. Amazing Slow Down is a great software that will slow, slow down the song to about 30%. That way you can gradually work your notes and work your songs from the slow pace to fast pace, uh, especially the fast runs. Uh, to me, for me, I think most people can only remember a fast run, maybe three to five notes. So you want to uh, break it down and just listen to a slow tempo on a fast solo. S stop. Uh, after four or five notes and try to get those down first and then go to the next four or five notes. It's a very tedious process. It's section by section. Uh, so that's, I think that's the best way to learn a song from scratch. Uh, so use those three things. Tabs, watching videos of the original musicians and using some software that will slow down the song and that will pan left or right. Okay, one thing that uh, um, that I mentioned in my uh, about me page is that I don't do requests. Uh, I find requests uh, stressful because I feel like I'm obligated to uh, to do something, and there's so many people that you know there'll be a lot of requests. But I do greatly appreciate suggestions. Not that I don't take your request, but you no, know, whatever you suggest, I will seriously consider, and I will probably end up doing it anyway. But when I say I don't take requests, I uh, that way I don't feel like that I have the pressure to have to do the song, and it won't be in the back of my mind all the time to to feel request, and I don't want to get in that position. I want it to be fun for me. Uh, if it's fun for me, hopefully it's fun for you in learning. So with that being said, uh, again, uh, happy Labor Day weekend. This is a long weekend in America, uh, so it's a three days weekend. Um, so uh, just happy Labor Day weekend to all of you guys who are in, in the U.S. of A. Uh, I love this country. It's a great country, country to live in, and I don't take it for granted. Uh, you can see that I am not from around here. Uh, uh, but uh, I do love the U.S.A. and I love the, the freedom. Uh, next up is that I, I'm going to do a video right after this one. I'm going to do a Power Slave by Iron Maiden, just a riff, because I realized today is the 32nd anniversary of Power Slave which is my favorite Iron Maiden album uh, because that was the one that came out that really influenced me when I was first learning music about heavy metal um, and then I'll probably do a few worship songs uh, I, uh, I do lead worship at church on the weekend uh, I'm on the worship team so that's one of my passions so I, I do uh, so you notice I do some worship uh, music videos uh, lesson, lessons or worship songs how to play on guitar so I'll probably do a few of those and I'm also working on Judas Priest Rock Hard Ride Free right now great song and other and other just blow, it blows my mind how creative uh, KK Downing and Glenn Tipton are and, uh, and I'm also thinking about going to do White Lion Wait it's a very popular song there's so many lessons on it but I think I can do it a little differently to give a little more insight into uh, the chords, like I say, the music theory behind it. So, um, so yeah, those are the videos I plan to do. You know, who knows what I will come up with after those. Uh, but I try to not to get ahead of myself. Two or three videos ahead of me to prepare ahead, to think ahead uh, is probably uh, enough for, for me to handle. Uh, so, again, I want to thank you for, uh, for your support. Uh, help me to reach past uh, 1 million views uh, on my channel. I didn't expect this to happen. I started off just a small channel, wanted to do something fun. Uh, thought I'll get 5 or 10 subscribers, you know, maybe you know, 1,000 views. Uh, 
so uh, it was beyond my imagination that I would actually have one million views on my channel so I want to thank you for all your, all your support uh, please feel free to comment uh, since I don't have thousands of subscribers I try to uh, I try to respond to all the comments that I can uh, so again happy long weekend and for those of you for those of you who are overseas thank you for your support as well uh, and you guys have a nice weekend as well so uh, thank you